Stuart, how sore is that one? That's, it, it goes without saying, Scott, but what we had was um, a group of players that were all in, what we had was the supporters, everybody was invested in this today, everybody was all in, you could see uh, the atmosphere in the place, you could see the backing that we got, you could see um, what the players gave for 94 minutes of this game, um, I, I, I don't uh, make excuses in the sense that I felt that in the latter stages we started to drop off and just give up that bit much ground, um, I thought that we could have been uh, much sharper in possession when we turned the ball over um, in that stage of the game, um, but I thought what we'd done was we we, we defended manfully, we kept a really good solid structure, a really good shape um, and then for that closing two minutes everything that we speak about being uh, red flags and, and, and aspects of the game that are going to hinder us and in, 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 in playing against this opposition um, they come to fruition, um, a simple what I feel is whether it's a handover or whether it's just uh, occupying space and run about our penalty box um, allows a, a penetrating pass and a simple square across the box and um, if I can tell you that we work on that every single day um, and especially leading up to this one with the types of movements that Celtic possess and you know that ball retention they have in your final third um, but you know the, the most frustrating thing for me is if that was exposed pretty much throughout the game then I'd be standing in front of you saying it wasn't good enough it, it was good enough for 94 minutes um, and it's that last two minutes of the game um, that ultimately gets us coming away here kicking our heels feel, feeling sorry for ourselves starting to think about the what ifs and, and, and I really thought we'd done more than enough to take something from that game today you spoke in the week about the kind of the different worlds that these two clubs are in. You know, but how impressed were you by your team with how much they just competed and probably had the better of the chances, especially in the first half? Yeah, I think the I think the first half was was a real good indication of what we wanted things to be. Um, Celtic obviously make a change at half time again, another team that does that against us because we feel as if we've we've done something right. Um, I thought the chances and the opportunities we fashioned were almost right off the page, and what we felt we might get to, and what we felt might may happen in the game. You know, big Theo Bear going down the side of the centre backs, Jack Vale getting into those positions, um, and we had some nice opportunities. We worked their goalkeeper um, with several set plays and, uh, and and opportunities to try and carve out chances um, and then as I say you always know that there's there's a, there's a title race on here you know Celtic and Rangers the pressure that comes on them you know they have to throw caution at the wind they have to make sure that they try and win this game um, but I felt for that 94 minutes that we stood tall enough I think the one frustration for me and I've said this to the players there, it's always my responsibility to make sure that we're conditioned mentally and physically to get through 96 minutes as it were today. Um, but then we, we start to see that falter a little bit, we start to see that no just being quite as sharp as what we'd expect it to be, um, starting to take a backward step rather than a forward step. Um, and I've said that to the players, it's, it's my responsibility with them to make sure that we're not having people feeling for, for muscles and thighs and you know hamstrings and that type of thing, um, that the, the game lasts for 96 minutes and it a real high level when you're playing against teams like Celtic and for us to get better Scott as a as a football club and for us to get better as a group of players you have to make sure that you can get through that you know there's no better feeling than coming out of a, a game like that today where it's all um, and that you've played the 96 minutes and you've managed to get yourself through it so there's a frustration there um, you could argue that, that substitutions maybe maybe disrupted the flow but uh, at the time they were they were necessity yeah, we, we had to make them and that's no slight in the guys that come on the pitch it's very simply that once you're in that solid structure that you feel that you you're making changes for changes sake um, and I would rather just be in that position where we're so cohesive and, 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 and functioning the way that we were for large parts of, the, of that game. How is the dressing room? Because it's it's not a, a long time between this and our next game. No, it's low. It's low. It's quiet. You know, uh, I'm angry. I'm frustrated in there. Um, but what I've kind of said as well is, without sort of sweeping this one under the carpet, that we go again on Wednesday. Um, I try to be methodical in my way of thinking. So you play against Livingston on the AstroTurf um, on Wednesday. That's going to be a physical bruising encounter. You know, Livingston will get the ball forward. They will go and uh, test our back line. Um, they will play for set plays, you know, long throws, corner kicks, that type of thing, into your box, so it becomes a completely different game, you know, different styles of football, different ways of playing, so if I, st if I sit and I fester on this and I stew on this uh, too long, which I would rather do if it was week to week, you know, we're playing Saturday to Saturday or Sunday to Sunday, um, then we could spend a wee bit more time on this, but absolutely what we have to do now is pick ourselves up um, and make sure that we're, we're starting to focus on Livingston, and I think if we can execute our game plan as much as, uh, as, much as we did today, then we can put ourselves in a good position but the flip side of that is if we switch off for that last two minutes as we did today then you know uh, it becomes a real tough night and I have to ensure that the players are in a positive mindset and, a, and, and, and in a frame of mind where we can go to Livingston, uh, a tough venue, tough place and, and go and see if we can get three points. Thanks for your time Stuart. Cheers Scott.